Hey Crazy College Life, welcome back to another video today. And before we get into it, I want to apologize for not uploading yesterday. I just took the day kind of myself. I've not had many days to myself. So I kind of just took that day and relaxed and just enjoyed my day. So, today's video will be a college video. It is what to expect on move-in day. A lot of y'all are probably getting ready to go to college and you're probably nervous and stuff. I know last summer whenever I was prepping to go to college, I read articles, websites, I searched it up, I watched YouTube videos, I read books, I was so nervous. Didn't know what to expect, none of my family ever went, to, like parents ever went to college. So... I had a cousin that went to college, but she started like three or four weeks before for this writing class or something like that, that her college made you take before you could actually start classes there. So I knew a little bit, but I still was nervous and stuff. So let's jump right in. Well, for one... It's going to be a hectic day, the day you get to the school to move in. Whether you guys have like orientation weekend like my school does, or even if you don't have orientation weekend, it's going to be very hectic. You're going to have parents everywhere, people everywhere. Just going to be unloading your car pretty much into a bucket and then taking it to your room. And everything's just going to be thrown everywhere until you get your room situated the way you want to. Or that's how it was for my school. I did get a move a day in early a day ahead last summer, or last year. Because I was in Hidden Promise and Hidden Promise Dollars came in a day early. But as I was watching everyone else move in the day of since I was already there. It was a little hectic and crazy. So, yeah. Like, some people will arrive in town day before because you want to get there early. My advice to you is get there early enough so you can move your stuff in and stuff before everyone else arrives. Another thing is have tools handy like scissors, duct tapes. Some people need alley ranches and stuff so they can fix their bed and everything how they wanted. Just make sure you have tools available in case you need them for some odd reason. I would say dress appropriately. Like, I know a lot of us, whenever I moved in, wore shorts and stuff because Right after you guys move in, you have a bunch of events planned, or that's usually how, like, orientation was. Like, I, I remember it took me all weekend to get my stuff organized, and some during the week during school, just because I had such a busy weekend with orientation events and stuff. Something that I know a lot of people don't like their door propped open or whatnot, or you're not supposed to, but... Something that was very handy was propping your door open while you were bringing stuff in. And then it made it a lot easier to bring stuff in to get all your stuff in your room so you could situate and decorate it the way you wanted to decorate it. Something else, I know I did it, my roommate did it is plan at least one more run to the store because there might be a few things you forget got like a shower curtain or some things to hang stuff up on the wall with or just little things that you may have not thought or some snacks even that you didn't want to pick up on your way because you had a long drive because I know I came three hours away from school so it was a little bit of a long drive and if I bought milk back at home it would have went bad by the time I got to the school and got my stuff in my room and situated. So, it 
and going away to college is fun and stuff but it also can be stressful definitely if you're riding on an airplane or something to come to college not knowing if some if the person that's picking you up at the airport is going to be there on time not knowing if you have a car or just different little things is going to be very stressful on you or knowing if you're good to go if your financial aid is paid for and all the other stuff because not everybody gets a refund check I know some people may get a refund check but not everybody gets a refund check instead some people may have to pay for college and just knowing that they have the money to p put the first payment down or whatnot it can be very stressful making sure you're ready to go stopping at different places knowing what but also it's time of your life you'll have fun in college and after the stressful day is over you'll make so many new friends have so many new memories and I know at my school we have mentors to help the freshmen like weed their way into the college setting and stuff and help them if they're there with the change because I know change is hard on y'all. I will be a mentor this year and I'm super excited about it because ever since I went to Head and Promise Camp in the summertime I've been so excited to be a mentor and to be able to help students and stuff like my mentors help me out through school. So yeah. And my number one best tip of all is be yourself. Don't be somebody that you d know you're not. And enjoy college. It'll be fun. You'll meet some of the most closest people you'll ever meet. And you'll have a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Make sure you turn that notification bell on. So you'll be notified whenever I post my next videos. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.